Hello, Angel Baby. So, y'all are going to have to excuse the crying in the background. Somebody's mad. I fed him, changed him, and he wants me to pick him up, and it's it's late. So, that's just not going to happen. Because <laughs> after this reading, I'm going to go to bed. All right. So, we're doing another reading. I hate this is going to be really personal for somebody, so just be prepared. Okay. But we have purple, which is wisdom, bravery, lavender, supernatural mystery, wealth, and royalty. Okay. So you have like a royal air about you. You have an air of protection around you. Okay. Um, and this is a new behavior. This isn't something that I think that you've had previously about yourself like I don't think that you accepted like a certain part of yourself okay I don't think that um I feel like you've made it hard on yourself in a certain type of way um my left eye is twitching and good luck coming so I also have a card that says don't force it just because you identify with the man-made classification of what you think you belong to okay um and then I have an example here you are unique and you must act like you are don't force things to work what will work will flow easily and without and will allow you to be fully grounded okay so what's for you is going to be for you Okay, nobody can take that away from you. Um, that is a proverb. I also wrote my own, which is like ketchup and mustard can go together, but it doesn't always have to. Okay, what's familiar about them? Both of them are condiments, but that doesn't mean that they have to be used together just because they're both condiments. So this is something that I feel like you just now come into awareness about. Like there's different ways of achieving a certain level of spirituality um you could be muslim you could be christian you could be this you could be that i feel like a lot of people a lot of my angel babies that are just not waking up i feel like i'm talking to you now like you're just now being called out of certain religions that you no longer identify with okay i have beekeeper so you have a strong work ethic okay things you like to keep things in order you like to stand your ground you like to keep the faith all of the time you're like a busy little worker bee okay you know like i don't know busy for the lord i'm hearing so this may be somebody being called out of christianity i said this is going to be very specific very specific okay we have unhealthy soul ties karmic soul ties you need to release them so this person has some really this person, you, or the person you're inquiring about, okay, I could say she and mean he, I could say they and mean you, them and you mean you, be the master of your own discernment, all right, but, um, there's a situation here where somebody had an unhealthy soul tie with somebody and they released it, all right, and what they learned from that was that, you know, there's different ways and lines of work, okay? Like spiritual work. I don't know if this is like career. I'm feeling like this is more spiritual than anything. There's different ways to achieve enlightenment. You don't have to do things the same way um, just because that's how you learned it at first, okay? Like it's like learning addition. My son learned addition a different way than I did. He counted on his hands. I was taught the point theory where you put a dot on each point of a letter. Or I'm not, I'm sorry, a letter. A number, okay? And then you counted all the dots and that was your answer when you're adding or, you know, when you're adding. So we both learned addition, but we learned it two separate ways. So it's kind of like, it's like a release of traditional spirituality, like a release of being in church every Sunday, um, going to Bible study, um, doing the same benediction, the same church announcements, singing the same songs that have been remixed so many times, reading out of the same passages. Um, there's different ways to achieve enlightenment. Like you don't necessarily have to um, subscribe to a certain religion and the way that they do things. You can pretty much create whatever spiritual practice that you want okay I think that is what um spiritual mystery is here is that you are royalty treat yourself like you are brave treat yourself like you have wisdom okay because you can always learn 
something else, okay? Like, treat yourself as if you are learning everything. Like, you're learning. Just take in information, okay? Um, also, some of y'all need to take in information on how to protect yourself during this transition. Because a lot of times when you come out, when you break away from the hive, I'm also hearing beehive, um, and you stray away from the norm, People tend to want to persecute you or isolate you, okay, because you are different and it's a type of different that they can't really get a grasp on mentally. They can't define you or classify you and put you in a certain box. So instead, what they try to do is bend you to their will, um, even in death, okay? Like, and I don't mean like literal death, but even like to their detriment, they will do this, okay? Um, we have of big magic here okay the angels and god are moving in to help you it's happening now okay um spirit's really helping you with this person we have home here so um spirit is moving all throughout your home all throughout your 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 body helping you um protecting you really is what i'm seeing here big protection magic so if you just did something um to protect yourself okay i know for me i have protection stuff and literally everything like in the air freshener that I use I burn palo santo I do sage I do oil anointing you know like how Christian people do sometimes I do protective meditations I'll blast protected peaceful frequencies through the house I'll do spirit baths spirit showers spirit water where you just spray it on you real quick like uh, uh, and then go up your day um there's all kinds of ways crystals like obsidian I was saying in the last video there's all types of ways to protect yourself but whatever you have been doing to protect yourself as you are breaking away from this traditional mindset okay it is working okay it's working and continue to do that because you're going to need it all right there's a lot of solar plexus energy here so a lot of you are doing a lot of manifestation or have done a lot of manifestation and it is um getting ready to pull through in the biggest way if you've been really praying for like this dream job or you've been praying for like find the perfect career for you if you've been praying about you know I don't know we have home here so finding a home or a place to live that's like affordable in a decent city low crime rate or whatever you know all of that is coming to you because you manifested it and because there was a death in the way that you used to protect yourself previously so I'm seeing that you guys didn't protect yourself at all previously spiritually um and that is why you weren't able to manifest okay so being in this karmic energy okay this karmic church and I'm sorry my son is screaming in the background but um being in this karmic church where you're kind of just like screaming out like your spirit is just like yelling at you that this is not for you or you're in this job and your spirit is just like screaming at you that this is not for you listen to yourself you don't have to make drastic changes but make minor changes in order to you know achieve what it is that you want don't get stuck in the lack don't get stuck at the end of your manifestation process where you've started to do the work you've said what you wanted you realize that there was a need for something in your life and then you just get stuck on the release part I keep saying that I said that in the last video that oftentimes where people fuck up with the manifestation process is they don't release the lack they don't release the negative they always keep the need within them and that keeps them greedy that keeps them you know consuming things that they don't need to consume or taking things from other people that they don't need to take is because they are stuck on the lack the victim consciousness okay so break that cycle and release continue to work on it but don't keep thinking I don't have this I don't have that I want this I need that no get to the point where you don't need nothing get to the point where you're cool with what you have, okay? Because that's when you start to forget about the things that you manifested. That's how you know your manifestations are really finna kick in is when you have something good happen to you and you're like, oh shit, I did manifest that. I did write that in my manifestation journal about three months ago. I forgot about that shit already. That's how you know it's working because you've conquered that need. You've conquered that victim 
mentality, that lack within your mind. You got to learn to release the lack, okay? That's what the generational cycle that you're supposed to be breaking, okay? It says how you take care of, of yourself, okay? How you care about yourself, all right? I literally just said you're starting to protect yourself now spiritually and you're able to manifest because you can clear all that bullshit out that these karmic energies, okay, or karmic church, What's placing on you, okay? Um, we have disloyal. Someone will deceive you or already has, okay? Um, I feel like that's nothing new. Like I said, a lot of people, when you get to this level of healing, okay, um, they don't know what to do with themselves. Everything that you do scares them. Moon secrets, things yet to come to light. So there's some things that are yet to come to light. Um, what that is, I don't know. I'm hearing pull the card off the top, so I'm going to do that. Charm, sensuality, universal love. So a lot of things are going to come to light about how much of a loving fucking person you really are. Period. Okay? Um, a lot of, a lot of y'all are going to be, like, people thinking that they're going to expose you to be something evil or expose you to be, um, something other than a hard worker. It's a fucking lie. Okay? Um, you worked very, very hard. You kept your faith, okay, throughout all of this. So this is showing me, Angel Baby, that y'all had a horrible, tough time with something and you were able to just stand your ground, okay? You were able to, you know, cut off the relationships that you needed and that you, you know, wanted around you. For some of y'all, like y'all fell into drinking and you overcame that. Okay, you had several tower moments, okay, but you stayed and you clung to your higher self, all right? You learned whatever lesson that you needed to learn, all right? You also, so some of y'all, y'all had an attitude problem and you're learning to like love yourself and get on the right path so you can, you know, be in tune with yourself and not always make head over heart decisions. Because sometimes you do need to, I hate to sound like fucking Pocahontas and shit, but sometimes you need to follow your heart, that urge that you get when you know something's not for you and you're just like oh like I don't know if I can do this don't force yourself to do it because when you force yourself to do something like that shit doesn't pan out the way that you want it to it's never going to pan out the way that you want it to you want to know why because you're already putting within the ethers within your spiritual you know bubble that this ain't for you so just realize that it's not for you don't try to make yourself Force yourself into something or force yourself to have a relationship with somebody. You feel me? Um, we also have prepare for new things. So some of y'all are starting off with a blank slate. You're starting off just fresh, okay? Fresh. Starting off fresh, all right? I don't know if you're going to be starting off fresh with this person. I do see scorpionic energy here. The emperor was here, so that is Aries energy, Okay, but some of y'all gonna be starting out fresh, okay? Um, for some of y'all, y'all gonna be learning to trust yourself, okay? Learning to um, work on your root chakra, those primal urges that you have. Um, and you're just gonna be learning to balance out. That's where that greed comes from. Like, when you have a lack, your root chakra and your solar, solar plexus chakra really suffers because you're telling yourself that you don't have what you need to survive, <laughs> Okay, that's that victim consciousness that a lot of people in my community have, okay, that we have to break the generational cycle of is feeling like we don't have what we need to survive. We're constantly working out of our reptilian brain, okay, our, you know, reptilian aliens who destroyed other planets just for the sake of energy source, energy conducting, okay, um, we, we, we still have that, that, that activated in our mind and it needs to be in tune, okay? So whatever protection magic that you've been doing, it has been helping you think clearer as well because you're not tied down by all these karmic people around you. And unfortunately, I'm going to hate to break it to you, but there's always going to be karmic energies around you that are going to be trying to drag you down because that's the soul contract that they signed. So I feel like that's also why we have universal love here because you have a universal understanding of like 
how things operate here physically, spiritually, mentally, like emotionally, like you have a universal understanding of everything, of people, places, they, everything, okay? So you can also have empathy, not sympathy, but empathy for people that, you know, that's the sole contract that they signed was to be an asshole, was to be a bitch, was to be a cheater, was to be a scammer, was to be a liar, was to be somebody that destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. That's how they chose to help people. They said, I'm going to take on the dirty side of things so that other people within my spirit team can survive. And I'm going to make sure that they understand that they can survive, that you can do this. So, um... Uh, this energy is really just asking you, okay, to trust yourself that you can break these karmic ties, okay? Release whatever it is that you need to release, okay? So if somebody has been disloyal to you in some type of way, release that shit, okay? Don't keep thinking about that shit. Don't keep bringing that shit up, basically, okay? Um, we also have third quarter moon, release and let go. I really can't make this shit up. Okay, that's the second thing I have that says release. We also have victory here, and we have perfect alignment opportunity. So this is a perfect time to align yourself to success. This is the perfect time to make sure. Yeah, we have moon here, which is deception, fellow human friend. So there's somebody here that is trying to deceive you because they see that you have a blank slate. They see that you've grown. They see that you think a bit differently now, and they kind of want to come in and express some hidden emotions and express... We have a secret society, too, and we have home. Again, I didn't realize that there were two of these. Oh, my God. Home. What the? F I didn't realize that there were two of these that I made. What the hell? And we have secret society, again, peeking its head out. So what is this about a home? I'm hearing get regular, too. So, let's figure this out. What is this? Justice is popping out. Okay, so some kind of justice. Something they're wanting you to have. Like, when you release this karmic tie, I feel like a lot of you are going to feel so steady. Yes, I have the high priestess in the upright, so I'm seeing things clearly. You're seeing things clearly. You are going to have so much stability. You're going to be so grounded. Okay, um, just continue to do your protection work, continue to work on yourself, because you're going to be so grounded, but it doesn't matter who's disloyal to you, it doesn't matter who's unhealthy, like, you're going to be seeing the bigger picture. Like I said, some people just sign, you know, another type of soul contract to be the personal one that fucks up, to be the person in your life that causes you a lot of strife, to be the person who did this, did that, so don't hold those things against them don't take that shit personally because that's what they're here to do i have the high priestess in the upright again literally okay don't take that shit personally because that's what that person said yeah we have unable to move so somebody feels stuck what is this? Why is home here twice? I've used this deck several times. The Fool. So somebody is not taking a risk here. We have the Fool in the reverse. Somebody's feeling stuck. Somebody's not taking the risk. Um, Yeah, we have Heartbreak here. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like... um. Somebody experienced like a loss, a major loss in stability, okay, a major loss in um, possibly for some finances or they lost like a fam, I heard they lost like family, okay, because of some situation here. So you may be cutting ties with like karmic family members that you also go to church with, you know what I mean? Like this could be family that you're needing to release with the king of swords here, um, for some of y'all, y'all got family asking y'all for money and shit. Yeah, for some of y'all, y'all got family members that want to come in and ask y'all for money. And you're just like, yo, like, I gotta let this shit go. Like, every time I turn around, you know, you asking me for some shit. Every time I turn around, you asking me for some shit. Knight of Pentacles and the reverse, Three of Cups. So for some of you... Y'all have been 
upset in your home because of some third party situation, like maybe somebody cheating on you. Um, it's just an unhealthy soul tie. It's somebody that you don't need to be around that you probably already know deep down in your gut that this wasn't going to work. Okay. But you've been a busy little worker bee trying to keep this stable, trying to, um, make this work out, trying to, you know, cut down on the confusion to make sure that something works within this relationship, within this home, within this marriage, take it how it resonates. And spirit is coming to balance that shit out now, okay? Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. Spirit's coming in real quick to balance this shit out. It's Judgment Day. We have the Tower card here. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the World card in the reverse. Somebody's getting ready to face major karma. Okay, who is this getting ready to... Oh, God. Action is being taken against this person. Okay, within their community... Who is this? Who is this spirit? Oh, this we have deception here with the seven of swords. Who is this? That's lying. So we have the Hierophant here. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. And we have the eight of swords. In the upright. So somebody feels spiritually bound or spiritually tied up. Okay, we have the Hierophant here, which is big Taurus energy. So there could be a Taurus around you that feels bound, that feels stuck, um, that feels like they can't spiritually move on. All right? And judgment is being called. They're going to have a tower moment. Or they were stuck in a cycle of having tower moments. Okay? Um, that victim consciousness. Yeah, it's getting ready to leave, though. Because somebody's going to turn into the king of fucking pentacles. Look at that. That victim consciousness over here that somebody was dealing with. Okay? Being stuck in, in, in endless tower moments. Okay? Uh, where nobody came. Nobody said anything. Nobody did anything. Nobody helped out. Nobody offered a cup of emotion. Everybody was just deceptive as fuck. All right? Tower moments gonna happen, okay? King of Pentacles would also be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but big Taurus energy here. This person's gonna turn into the King of Pentacles. Yep, somebody didn't know that they had the world in their hands. Yep, for some of y'all, this is definitely finances, okay? Just trapped in the lack of finances, trapped in addictions, or spending your money on um, addictions or things that aren't going to be fruitful later on. Unable to make decisions. So this is like a cloud of confusion that's been on you. So maybe that's also why we have big magic here. We have death in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So it's like negative karma, like just trapped in a negative karmic cycle. And we have the Queen of Cups here and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So it's like trapped in a, in a karmic cycle, okay, that like somebody wants to end, but it's like they can't end it. You know what I mean? Um, for some of y'all, y'all had to emotionally walk away from this person to get your happiness with the Queen of Cups here. It could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, you had to walk away in order to be like this King of Pentacles. You had to walk away in order to, you know... I don't know, we have the Two of Cups here, possibly to meet the love of your life. Yeah, that's no lie with the Five of Swords in the reverse. So it's like, you know, you had to stop dealing with certain people that you felt like were really karmic in order to get to the place that you needed to get to, okay? Because you felt like you were stuck, stuck in some type of cycle. You felt like you were so stuck, okay? Page of Cups. Some of y'all may be moving homes. That's also why this is here, too. Um, for some of y'all, y'all have a child, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio child here. But, like, this person was really, like, blocking your creativity, okay? Um, and you need to just continue to trust yourself. Continue to let these people go. Yeah, because they're, they're giving up. They're giving up. They're giving up. 
for some of y'all, you manifested this protection to the point where, like, this person is giving up. Somebody was trying to do, like, love spells, okay, with the lovers in the reverse and the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Like, they were working hard trying to put into the ethers for you to come back to them. Um, and now they're giving up. They're not trying to do it anymore, okay? Because you put so much protection magic. I'm looking at this Ace of Cups and the Magician together here. Like, you conjured the angels to come and help you protect you because the hierophant in the upright is somebody who is faithful okay so stand your ground and keep your faith that's exactly what you did in the situation you kept your faith and you have the nine of cups here which is self-fulfillment and happiness you are learning to love yourself trust yourself continue to work hard at the things that you know are going to be beneficial to you so that you don't stay in this like victim consciousness type of energy you can go out there and go get what it is that you need okay you can do it yourself you don't need nobody else to do it for you okay for some of y'all y'all met the love of your life that's a capricorn virgo or taurus okay because it flipped yeah queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay literally queen and king of pentacles i said you met the love of your life right well look what was at the bottom of that the lovers so Y'all may experience sour moments, but it's just, it's the, it's after the lightning passes, sometimes you can still hear the thunder, okay, before the storm completely blows away. You're at the end of the storm, okay, it, it's time for the thunder. You're just hearing the thunder in the distance now. Oh my, we have victory. Look at that, victory. Okay, you're just hearing the thunder passing by because the storm is over. I'm hearing that song, the storm is over now. Okay, whatever injustice that you were facing, that you, it's came to light now about what happened in the past and why you had to be defensive and why you had to be a certain way because somebody was like a controlling narcissist. Somebody was doing things behind your back, making decisions behind your back, causing you tower moments, causing you to have to, okay, let me start as a page and build my way up to the empress, okay? Um, somebody was just taking ill action against you, causing you stress, causing you strife, okay? And you persevered through that shit. You left these people out here. You hung these people out here to dry, okay? I really feel like this is a church situation mixed with a family situation. Um, look what was the card on here. Purpose. You're doing it now. Your life's purpose is right here in front of you. You are on track, okay? Life path eight. We have butterfly, all right? You are on track. So if you needed any confirmation, continue to grow, continue to grow okay you're on the right track um so that's all i have for you right now i will probably be making my videos a lot shorter all right um in the future just because i don't want to be on here for so long i kind of want to get to the point and save all of this yummy goodness for personal readings because i feel like i love going in depth but i would rather go in depth on a personal read than just out here like this so i may do like a long read maybe twice a month or so and then just do like mini short reads i don't know i'm thinking of ways to conserve my energy as my um demand for personal readings gets a little bit higher because it's kind of getting a bit to manage doing like three readings every few days um and personal readings and trying to go to work and taking care of my kids and being a good wife so um yeah if you need me for a personal reading all right for the month of september i am doing ten dollar readings all right for the month of september if you need to get into contact me with me you already know to look in the description box and until then i will see you next time